Hey Gary, you want some vitamin C? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm giving it to you. You don't have to <laughs> you don't have to pull it out. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. This is one milliliter. Gary, this is 50 milligrams of vitamin C. That's all you need for the day. Hey, welcome back to Scotty's Animals. I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. Why does the Exotic Animal Vet Center recommend 50 milligrams of vitamin C per guinea pig per day? And why should you give your guinea pigs vitamin C? Well, here's five reasons why you should give your guinea pig vitamin C. Number one, scurvy. Vitamin C prevents scurvy. Let's take a second to learn about scurvy. Scurvy is a disease caused by vitamin C deficiency. Just like people, guinea pigs cannot produce their own vitamin C and must get it through the diet. Some of the symptoms of vitamin C deficiency or scurvy in guinea pigs include lethargy, lethargic behavior, unwillingness to move, painful joints, weight loss, dental issues, bruising, diarrhea, a rough coat, or open wounds. Other signs include not eating or weight loss, eyes or nose discharge, tenderness to the touch. Some guinea pigs will hop or drag their legs. Guinea pigs need between 10 and 50 milligrams a day of vitamin C, depending on their specific needs, weight, size, etc. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, which means that the body does not hold on to the excess and will flush it out in the urine. It's important to note that consistent extreme high doses of vitamin C may worsen cases of arthritis. And if guinea pigs are given extreme high doses of vitamin C and then suddenly given no vitamin C, that can increase their risk of scurvy. Number two heart disease. If you've seen my video about heart disease, which I'll link right here, then you know that scurvy is one of the contributing factors of heart disease. And just like we mentioned, that vitamin C prevents or can rehabilitate guinea pigs with scurvy, then you know that if you can prevent scurvy, then that goes a long way to helping fight heart disease. For more information about the importance of vitamin C and heart disease, please watch my entire video about heart disease in the info cards. Number three, a URI or upper respiratory infection. Respiratory infections are very common in guinea pigs and a lot of times if you get your guinea pig from the pet store, they come to you already with a respiratory infection. Some of the signs and symptoms of a respiratory infection are breathing issues such as clicking or liquid in the lungs kind of sound, uh, various types of heavy breathing, also runny eyes, and of course the quintessential sign of a respiratory infection is sneezing. So any of those symptoms and also lethargic behavior or not acting the way they normally do, not coming uh, out for treats and just kind of retreating in their house. Any of those symptoms could be a sign of a respiratory infection and you don't want to wait. You definitely want to go to the vet if you see any of the signs of a respiratory infection. But when it comes to lots of guinea pig illnesses, having a boosted immune system can really prevent and fight off any kind of infection or illness that guinea pigs may have. So it's really important that your guinea pigs have a strong immune system and are overall as healthy as they can be. And so vitamin C is a really good way of boosting guinea pigs' immune systems. That leads me to number four, which is both mange and ringworm. Now mange is a parasite infection and ringworm is a fungal infection. Both appear as uh, skin issues problems such as scratching, itching, crusty skin, even though uh, they are caused from different reasons, having a lower immune system in a lot of ways can make the ringworm or the mange worse or can actually uh, have it take over when a healthier guinea pig might not be susceptible to it. Having a boosted immune system will allow your guinea pigs to fight off various kinds of infection. And the fifth reason why it's important to give your guinea pigs vitamin C is because you will tame them. Guinea pigs love vitamin C. Most of my guinea pigs go crazy for the liquid vitamin C that we recommend at the rescue. 
but there are also vitamin C cookies and a number of other vitamin C treats, which I'll talk about in a second. But when you're giving your piggies treats every day, then they will come up and greet you. They will expect these things. They will yell at you if you don't give it to them. So if you really want to tame your piggies, I always recommend giving child life liquid vitamin C or vitamin C cookies to your piggies every day in addition to whatever other treats that you give them and also picking up and holding your piggies. So I've got an entire taming playlist which I will put right there and I really encourage you to check that out and also check out the entire free guinea pig care guide on my website Scotty's Animals and you will then learn everything that I've learned volunteering at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So a lot of people ask me, well, can't my guinea pigs get enough vitamin C from their diet? And the answer is yes and no. So guinea pigs can get their vitamin C from their veggies. There are a lot of really great veggies that give vitamin C and not just oranges, which is a fruit. You really want to give more veggies and less fruit. And if you check out the diet section of my free guinea pig care guide, you'll see the list of fruits and mostly veggies that we recommend at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. But yes, green peppers are a really good example of a vegetable that is high in vitamin C, that is piggy safe, that piggies love. So I love those little sweet peppers, but bell peppers of all kinds are good, and you can just give them to your piggies, you just toss them in, you don't have to remove the seeds or anything. People also ask me, well what about pellets? Aren't the pellets fortified with vitamin C? And yes, that is true. But just like veggies, uh, you can't tell how much vitamin C your piggies are getting. You don't know exactly how much vitamin C is in the veggies that you give your piggies, and you don't know exactly how many pellets your piggies ate. So maybe they did get enough in their pellets, but maybe they didn't because you don't really know how much they're eating and if you really want to be sure now I take a multivitamin every day and I'm sure that a lot of you out there do too so if you really want to be sure that your piggies are getting enough vitamin C then I would definitely recommend giving them daily vitamin C that's why we really love the child life liquid vitamin C here it is right here because one syringe one milliliter syringe equals 50 milligrams of vitamin C so here it is right there and we really recommend this i'll put a link to this in the description and there's also links to this and other uh, vitamin c on my website scotty's animals there are also vitamin c cookies i will put a link in the description to the vitamin c cookies that i recommend that we really like at the rescue but let me know in the comments do you give your guinea pigs vitamin c well, I really hope that that has given you a little bit of extra insight on more of the reasons why we recommend vitamin C and why it's so important for your guinea pig's health and well-being. If you found this video informative, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the bell notification and you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. You want some? There you go. There you go, Popeye. Good boy. How was it? You have to wait till tomorrow to get more. Yep. There you go, Piggy Smalls. I know, you love it. Piggy Smalls used to have a respiratory infection. And multiple courses of antibiotics wouldn't stop him from sneezing and having runny eyes. But when I started giving him vitamin C every day, his symptoms cleared up. Good boy. That's it.